Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sharnice and welcome to Simply Nikwa. So today in this video, I decided to do another sewing project and I decided to do this super cute bow clutch purse. And I've seen this online and I was excited to make this for myself and to give you a little tutorial video on how to do it. But I will leave where I got the instructions down below. And other than that, if you're ready to see how to make this bow clutch bag, sit back and laugh and continue watching but go down below and subscribe to your YouTube channel if you haven't already and if you're new and give this video a like as well and let's get started with this video so to begin this bow clutch purse you're gonna need the materials that you need to make it so the supplies you'll need is a fourth of yard of some Fusible interfacing. There's multiple different interfacing. Make sure to get the one that you iron on. That's the easiest one. I think there's also one you can sew on and so forth. But the easiest one is get some fusible interfacing that you can iron on. That's what I got. And you only need a fourth of a yard. You're going to need about a fourth of a yard of interior fabric, the lining. And I use this nice black for the lining of my bow tie purse. And then for the exterior fabric, you need a more like heavier cotton, like sturdier cotton fabric. I found this fabric is nice, glittery, is firm, and I thought this would be a wonderful like outer exterior base for this purse. It's so pretty. The instructions that I have from online, this purse is just all one color, but I didn't want all one color for the lining, for the whole purse, for the bow. So uh, for the bow, I got a half a yard of this nice nice beautiful like red black polka dot fabric that would be nice to contrast from the white glitter fabric other than the fabric you're going to need a nine inch zipper and then contrasting thread I thought to use a white thread but I could use a red or a black thread to contrast it as well since I'm using those colors now we have to start cutting these fabric pieces I first out of just plain white computer paper I made template a pattern template for the pieces that I need for the body and the lining is all the same size which is 10 inches by 6 rectangle and you want to cut two out for each the exterior fabric that you're going to use the lining that you're going to use and even the interfacing that 10 by 6 then you cut out a piece for the bow like the bow itself so that is 11 by 5 and you want to cut out two pieces for that and then you want to cut out a piece for the wonderful beautiful strap one piece and that is a 14 and a half by three and a half and then the last piece that you need to cut out for this project is a one piece for like the bow knot, like the little knot in the middle, and that's a two by five little square. So after you got everything cut out, put everything to the side and get your little one piece of your strap. So you want to have an iron, you want to take the, your strap piece and fold it in half. After you iron that lengthwise, you want to open it back up so you can have a crease down the center of it. Now take each side and fold it towards the middle crease and then press it down. It should look like this. And then after you fold and press that down, then you want to fold it in half again lengthwise of the, on that original crease to finish the strap and press. Iron that down, press it down, but since my uh, strap piece has that nice glitter stuff on it, I didn't think iron it would be great. So that's why I put a towel uh, on top of it before I ironed it down so it doesn't like burn or anything. So that's why I did that for my strap. And if you have a more lightweight cotton fabric, it says here in the instructions that it'd be good to place some interfacing in between that strap and to give it some sturdiness. Now you want to sew the strap. So you want to sew that strap closed on that open area real close to the edge. And then you want to flip it around and sew it on the other side to give that decorative stitch. So now you want to put the strap to the side. And then you want to grab that knot piece, that 2x5 knot, bow knot piece. So you want to fold the long edges towards the center until they meet and then you want to press it down. And then you're going to want to sew each side as close as to the edge as possible but on that folded edge. that knot piece 
with right sides together. Then on the instructions it says to sew two inches from the left side and fold all the way across. When I folded in half, it was already short so if I went up two inches it was barely anything. So I just did one inch instead of two inches and it worked out perfectly and I sewed along that whole piece. And then you want to just cut off the excess fabric and you definitely want to make sure that you backstitch on all of these things. Then you want to flip it inside out and you get this pretty little cute little tubular thing for your bow. Once you got that done you want to set that knot bow part to the side and you want to work on the bow itself. So you those two pieces for the bow you want to put right sides together and you want to sew on each side to close off the edges. You want to ha sew it a half an inch seam allowance. Play this song, just sing along Then you want to flip it in inside out, you know, flip it so the right sides are facing out and then you want to press it down. And once you have that pressed down, you want to squinch it up and then you want to shove that piece into that bow knot to make the bow. And it should look like this. So you already have something else done and you want to set that beautiful bow to the side. And I'm like already getting pretty excited just by just seeing the bow and yeah, let's continue on. Let's get all the interior, the lining, and the exterior pieces for your purse. So you want to press the interfacing onto the not right side, the back side of your exterior fabric. So you want to iron on that interfacing. <laughs> Then you want to fold one long edge down like this and that is about a half an inch and then you want to press it down. You also want to make sure to press one edge down a half an inch as well on the both of the interior pieces as well. Now it's time to attach the bow. Lay your bow on one exterior piece with the folded edge on top and pin both sides of the bow onto the exterior piece and then the bow should be a little bit longer than the exterior piece so that's okay. Sew down both sides as close as possible to the exterior edge and then trim the excess of the bow. Now the wonderful fun part is time for the zipper yes so you want to take your nine inch zipper mine is black and you want to lay the zipper with the pull upside down then lay the fold of one of your interior pieces on top and stitch and then it should look something like this <laughs> The next thing we gotta do is to attach the exterior fabric to the other side of the zipper. So you wanna lay the exterior bow piece with the folded edge right along the zipper with the zipper pull facing up. This time and on the left and sew along the edge. Also give that decorative finish look as well. It should look something like this, as close to the edge near the zipper teeth as possible and without sewing onto the zipper teeth. So you want to make sure that fabric's really close to the zipper teeth. Now sew the other side like you just now did, but on the flip side. And don't forget to pull the zipper down before you do just like how you did previously about pulling it down, uh, sewing the zipper on more easy, so applying that exterior fabric now. Now we're almost done, no worries. So all you have to do is add the strap and finish the bag. So next with the zipper pulled down a few inches, fold your strap in half and lay on top of the bow with about one inch of the strap coming off the side looking like this. Now with the strap held inside, pin the exterior piece and interfacing together, leaving interior pieces free and sew all the way around the three sides using your presser foot as a guide. It 
should look like this when you finish it, finish sewing it. And then you want to trim the excess strap and trim the corners so there's no bulk and you have that nice little point when you fold it right sides out. <laughs> Now do the same steps for the inside lining and you want to pin together and so leave an opening big enough to fit your hand through so you can flip the bag. flip the entire bag through that hole. I'm going to press it down and close and sew that opening that you had open to flip the bag out to the right side. You just want to make sure to sew that edge up so it's all closed now. Then you want to give the bag a little iron to make sure there's no wrinkles and there you go you have the bag it's fully fully finished so you guys how do you like this cute cute bow clutch bag i really love it i'm going to carry it around this is just so perfect like the glitter and the red polka dot bow on the front it's just it's just beautiful and i really love this bag don't forget i left the instructions of where i got this down below in the description box but also you can use my video as well so if you like this video go down below and give this video a like please i really would really would appreciate it and if you haven't already and you're new here to my channel to this video go down below and subscribe to my youtube channel because i'll give you some more videos like this so you don't want to miss out you really don't so other than that thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you back next week Bye.